Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on Bearverse of Madness and in today's video I have got an exciting one lined up for you guys as in this box we have got four deluxes from the Transformers 2007 movie obviously hoping to complete this wall right here and be that step closer to completing the deluxe section but in this box there will be three deluxes to hang up on the wall and one of the deluxes is a Japanese exclusive but I will get into that but first I'd just like to say a massive apology for not uploading it is on my community tab so if you want a detailed explanation it will be on there but as a shortness I have been very busy in my personal life but I am back now and a lot of things uh, to be excited for in the future of this channel as I have got a lot of theory videos and breakdowns of the things that are coming uh, very shortly so let's get into the video now so there is a story of how I did acquire these figures I did meet a guy through eBay and he did have some 2007 deluxes which I bought from him um, we did end up chatting on Facebook and he is a very very big collector so best wishes to him on his collecting journey and many thanks for this box so let's get into it let's open the box I have opened it just so I didn't have to cut it on camera as you can see he's packaged them very nicely here and our first figure is the Japanese exclusive payload and as you can see there he is this is our second Japanese exclusive from the 2007 movie and as we spin the box around for those who want to see it there he is for our next deluxe we have got as we unwrap him we have got landmine which means he will hang here, which I will show you guys later. We are now free off from completing the standard wave of deluxes for the 2007 movie, ending there with Bumblebee, and obviously the rest are Walmarts and Toys R Us exclusives, which are in this box, two of them anyway. But yeah, we are free deluxes off now, which I will show you later when we hang them up. Here is the back of the box for people that want to see. Fantastic. The next figure we are going to take a look at will be this one. And as we unwrap him, these two are very, very extremely rare. They are worth literally your kidney. And there we go. There is Decepticon Fracture. And what an absolute <laughs> honour it is to own him in the collection. It's just amazing to know that we're only a few left from completing it and there he is in all his glory now the final deluxe for this unboxing as we open him up this will excite a lot of people when they find out who it is and yes as you can see already there he is there is 2007 deluxe big daddy and this is the reason I did end up messaging the guy because there he is as he had him on offer and on uh, listing but there we go there he is absolutely crazy that I own this guy in the collection many many people will know that this is definitely an hard one to get and there we go that will end the unboxing video so I will be back for when we hang them up so everyone welcome back to the second part of the video and now we will hang up the deluxes that we've got and take you along the ones we need and the ones we have there they are on the floor ready to stack up and there is the Japanese exclusive payload in front of the Japanese exclusive star screen we got in an unboxing a few months ago so here we go with the top left corner and to start off the deluxes we obviously have protoform optimus and star screen which started wave one which was the movie preview wave Wave 2 is Barricade, Brawl, Bumblebee, Jazz, and Scorponok, and the last one was Wreckage, Bone Crusher and Swindle were Wave 3, RC, Bumblebee and Dreadwing were Wave 4, Final Battle Jazz, long arm and payload now we have his japanese exclusive version but that was wave five wave six was recon barricade and drop kick 
camshaft, cliff jumper, and now we can add landmine to the collection. And as we hang him up there on the wall, there he is. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. There we go. There we were only missing cliff jumper that goes there which is absolutely phenomenal to get to add to the collection stockade was 7.5 overcast and jungle bone crusher were wave 8 stealth bumblebee and salvage were wave 9 and then the final two for wave 10 which we need were autobot jazz which is extremely rare because this is the premium series versions Barricade, which is also the premium finished version, and we do have Bumblebee that ends off the standard wave of Deluxes. So we are just free off from completing the standard wave, which is absolutely insane. And there is Landmine sitting there, and a great addition to the collection. So moving on now to the Toy Zaros and exclusives versions, we have the only carded Deluxe that came out for that and that was the Autobot Jazz with his G1 Deco which looks phenomenal sent to us by Russ who is a great helper on the channel when it comes to these things next is uh, Optimus Prime with the bonus poster Starscream with the bonus poster and those are just basically those figures repackaged just with a poster inside them Big Daddy is next to add the to collection and as we know we have literally just got him so there he can also be added to the collection boom there he is added on the 2007 wall and yet again it's just great to have another one to the wall dive bomb is next followed by grindcore Jolt, Breakaway, Crankcase, and the last figure that could be added to the wall, and that is Decepticon Fracture, and then the last one will be the Redecoed Battle Damage RC. So there we go, there is three more deluxes added now to the 2007 wall. We are very nearly complete, not many left to go for this wall. Absolutely crazy that we've uh, managed to get this far. And we're just this step away, we are now on the final lap when it comes to these deluxes. So many thanks for watching this video, I hope you guys enjoyed. Many, many thanks to the support guys while I've been away. I will be back, I promise. So yeah, thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.